and welcome back to the next tutorial on how to make chip music. Now to start off with, there are some things I forgot to mention in the previous tutorial, which I will cover in this one. In the previous tutorial I didn't mention how to do noise, so that's what I'm going to do right now. Now you could do it in notepad, all you've got to do is type in a whole bunch of random letters and numbers, well, just letters. But you've got to fill practically the whole page with random letters and numbers to make white noise. Then you could just simply put it into a mod plug tracker and do all the necessary adjustments to it. But you could also do it in Ace of Wave. I'll just load up Ace of Wave here. Now to make white noise, it's pretty much the same thing as before. You right click on Analog Synth. And then you select this thing here that looks like a few random dots. Then press OK. And you have your white noise. Because, as you probably know, chiptunes are not just made out of tones, they have noise in them as well, so that's a useful thing to have. Now, the next thing I'm going to go over is how to trim the samples that you've made with Ace of Wave. Now, I have here a sine wave that I made with Ace of Wave. I'm just going to put this into Mod Plug Tracker. The only reason why it's green here is because I've simply just gone into the settings and changed the colours so you can see it better. Anyway, this file is about 44 kilohertz in length, and that is really too long to use in a chiptune. You could use it, but it's best to have the samples as small as you can, so what you need to do is trim a whole bunch of it off, so we'll just select that much of it and press the delete button. Now you just need to select one cycle of the wave, but first I'll just trim a little bit more off. Now you just select one cycle of the wave, and then when you're happy with that, right click and then click on set as loop. Now I'll just play that. And if it sounds alright, we'll move on to the next bit. That does sound a little bit dirty to me, so I'll just uh, make it a little smaller. Okay, that should be enough, so set as loop. Listen to it. Yes, that sounds a lot cleaner, so you can then trim off the rest of the wave. So there is one cycle of the sine wave, and then you can resave it if you wish. So it's much smaller and more suitable for use in chip tunes. And as you can hear, perfectly clean. Right now, the next bit, something you're going to have to do if you make your sounds with Notepad, is you're going to need to tune them. Now this is one of the square waves I made with Notepad, and we'll just take a little listen to it. So that's the tone that it plays normally. Now if I go back to the sine wave, that's the frequency I like to tune them to, which is an octave above middle C. So to make this higher or lower, you adjust this thing here. You can see it says 8363, which plays... Now you shouldn't get this confused with the actual frequency it plays, that's the sampling rate. But if we turn this, put in a higher number, you can now see that it plays a much higher sound. You can also adjust with this. Okay, so I found the right frequency now. As you can see, for this particular wave, it's 25197. So if we play the sine wave, and then this, you can hear that they're now playing the same note. Here's another little trick you can use when you're trying to tune your samples. Now here I'm trying to tune the triangle wave, so what I've done is I've loaded in the sine wave that I created with Ace of Wave, and if I make that play and then have the triangle playing, here are that sound sounds like it's going in and out. Well basically the slower that sound, that sort of in and out sound goes, the closer you've got it tuned. Assuming that you made Ace of Wave producer sine wave of the frequency you want. Now I'm just going to deliberately detune this to show you another example of what I mean. So make this, make the triangle play a bit lower. Start the sine wave playing. And then the triangle. You can hear that in and out sound is sort of going much faster now. So I'm going to type in 26800. Let's hear how that sounds.
Well, I think that's about as good as I can get it. You can hear the sort of in and outness of the sound as the two waves interfere with each other. It's very slow now, so that's practically dead on. Now, I'll just show you how to make those sounds that you can use as your sort of tuning fork. You just go to Synthesis in Ace of Wave and right click on Analog Synth. This is the frequency you want to use right here 523.26. And of course, you just set the waveform that's closest to the waveform you're trying to make. So, you know, if you're trying to tune in a sawtooth wave you made, you select the saw and do have a triangle wave here. So, I know I used the sign, but you could use the triangle wave if you're trying to tune in a triangle wave. And of course, if you're making square waves, you know, make a square wave tuning test tone.